In today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome line animation text reveal effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So once you've got Adobe After Effects open, we're ready to begin with this effect. And we first want to begin by creating a brand new solid. So we'll go up to layer, new solid, and we'll change the color of this to white. We'll press OK on this. And then inside the white solid, we want to go into transform and unlink the scale. This means we can adjust the width and the height separately. So we'll adjust the width to 0.5 and we'll pull the scale down to around 11, 10 pixels high. Now from here, we'll just pull this over to the left using the position. And now we can go ahead and generate some new text. So we'll go into layer new text and we'll just type out whatever you want to type out. So I'm just gonna type out, hello, how are you? And then in the character tab on the right of After Effects, I'm just gonna change the color of this font to white. Now, just below the viewfinder, I'm gonna turn on the proportional grid so that we can line this up in the dead center. So once I've turned that on, I'm just gonna pull the position of this down and make sure this is in the very center of the screen. Perfect, now once that's centered up, you just want to remove the proportional grid by going back into that submenu. And now we can animate that white solid to go from the left to the right. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on the scale, go backwards two keyframes, pull this up to around two pixels, and then we'll go back three keyframes and we'll pull this down to zero. So this should bounce in. There we go. That line bounces in from nothing and that looks really cool. Now we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position, go ahead maybe one or two seconds and we'll pull the position all the way over to the right of the screen. Now from here, we'll go over maybe three, four, five keyframes and we'll pull the position just back to the left a little bit. This means the line will have a very subtle bounce as it goes into position. This is basically going to give our line a little bit of character. So once you're happy with the look of that, you want to select all of those keyframes, right click on one of those keyframes, it doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna change this to easy ease. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale at the end of the animation go ahead three or four keyframes and pull this down to 0%. Now when we play this back, the line bounces in, slides across and fades away. That looks really cool. So from here, now we can begin with the animation of the text. So we'll go up to the rectangle mask on the top bar of After Effects and we'll draw a rectangle mask around our text. Now we'll go into mask path, create a brand new keyframe on the mask path and then we'll pull the cursor head back in time to where the line is on the very left of the text. Now from here, we'll go ahead and adjust the mask and we'll pull the right side of the mask over to the left. So as the line animates from left to right, the text should follow that line and animate on. But if we play this back, you can see that the text does not perfectly follow that line. So we're gonna go frame by frame, update that mask and make sure the right side of that rectangle mask is following that line at all times. And as soon as you've done that, if we play this back, you'll notice the line comes in, scrolls across to the right, and the text animates on with that line. Now to take this to the next level, we're just gonna turn the motion blur on. So turn the motion blur on the white solid and the text layer, and make sure the motion blur button just above those footage layers is turned on. Now from here, we just want to animate the text to disappear after the line disappears. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the mask one more time. Create a brand new keyframe on the mask. Turn the proportional grid on. We'll scroll ahead in time, maybe four or five keyframes. We'll select the top two points of the mask and then we'll pull that down to the very center line. So the top half of the text should disappear. And then we want to separately select the bottom two points of that mask and pull that up to the center. Now at the end of that motion, we just want to trim the end of the text layer. So we're gonna select Control, Shift and D and we'll delete that second part of the video. And when we play this back, we've got the line animating in, it slides across to the right, the text comes in, the line disappears and then the text bounces out. This is a really cool and really simple animation technique inside of Adobe After Effects, but use this for one of your future projects to add style and character to your film. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. 
and don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.